So the platform behind me is the Robo Simeon. It's a platform developed by uh, one of our research partners, Jet Propulsion Lab. And this platform was uh, originally developed for another program for the DARPA Robotics Challenge. And what we're doing is, in our program, is we're working to put intelligence, autonomous behaviors um, on this platform. So this platform is a prototype. It's designed particularly focused on trying to improve the mobility of um, robots for Army applications. So you can think in terms of Army soldiers have to go um, in much more complex terrain. Think in terms of three-dimensional space in um, an urban environment, maybe after disaster or um, other catastrophic events. And so being able to keep up with a soldier is one of the things that we're trying to focus on. And so in order to do that, we have to have a platform that can um, keep up. And so this is just one of our platforms that we're using for our research so that we can uh, do a better job of getting robots um, with, the, with a similar mobility um, to what soldiers have. So we need to certainly speed things up and we need to be able to address um, unknown environments. And so this is a, quite a challenge for us. Uh, how would that change uh, today's unmanned systems? So currently, um, today's unmanned systems are largely teleoperated, which requires heavily, heavy use of soldiers in, in the loop to control them. It requires a large amount of video and bandwidth, which on the battlefield is precious and, and uh, not always reliable. So we use the robots, um, we put autonomy on the robots, and that allows the soldier to think in terms of the mission at a higher level. So if the robot is a teammate, we can, for example, have the robot uh, can be assigned by the soldier to do some task, for example, go look for an object or interrogate some sort of vehicle um, keeps the soldier at uh, standoff and um, doesn't have to provide all of their attention to the robot where if it's teleoperated like currently the robot is required to be controlled by the human a hundred percent of the time and what type of mission do you think it will eventually be used for? So the work at the Army Research Laboratory is focused on basic and applied research. So we're developing the fundamental science underpinnings for uh, robot capabilities. So we don't have specific missions um, uh, in mind directly. We're working on the fundamental capabilities, which are broad. So the platforms that uh, behind me are uh, developing algorithms for things such as the next generation uh, combat vehicles. Um, could be air platforms, it could be ground platforms. It could be used for obviously current missions that robots are doing like explosive ordnance disposal, um, IED interrogation. So the gamut of missions that autonomous vehicles could ultimately perform for soldiers is varied and broad. Um, so we but we focus on looking at the fundamental science problems um, to these problems in general and then uh, work on those solutions. And you'll apply that to a more practical use on prototypes? Right, so uh, our mission at, at the Army Research Lab is as part of the Re Research Development Engineering Command is to focus on the basic uh, science questions. And then we work with our partners such as uh, in, in, in RDECOM such as TRADOC, or excuse me, such as TARDEC and AMRDEC and CERDEC to transition the capabilities that we've developed um, in our programs. The algorithms can be used in their programs which are more application specific to your previous question um, where they might be used for uh, soldier resupply, they might be used for EOD or IED interrogation, those types of activities. So we focus on um, the larger science questions and then transition our algorithms to them and then they work with um, industry and other partners to address the needs of trade that TRADOC has put forth to us in, in their requirements.